Hi everybody, Earth Discernment here. Hey, I uh, was driving around today in uh, Seattle and I was just listening to the radio and all of a sudden I hear the word flat earth. So I uh, turn on the radio show or actually turn up the volume because obviously normally those daytime uh, hosts are quite ridiculous and you just don't care what they say or whatever but heard flat earth and you perk up i'll show you these pictures it was on this kiss w k i s w 99.9 rock fm right so this is the the uh let's see this thing man's room the men's room show weekdays from two to six and these are the guys right here miles and steve and ted and mike hawk or whatever and um yeah, so I want to tell you, I've, um, you know how these guys, they'll talk about men's things related, uh, menstruation, and blah, 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 and they'll follow it up. So I just wanted to kind of show a little bit of where I tuned it in here, just to give you a little example. They're going to start out with a normal conversation and then bust into some flat earth. And for you flat earthers out there, um, I think you'll hear a common meme in here. But I'm going to go ahead and play through this. And it was painful as it be, I might have to stop it, but we'll see. Wow, bad choice of words. Kind of on that same thing, I had a buddy, and he was having, he was like a senior in high school, and he's going to have sex with this girl for the first time, right? He was having sex for the first time or sex with this girl for the first time? It was her first time. Ah, okay. So they're not really, uh, they didn't really ease into it. She just kind of. Right. Just, right. Okay. So. The start of the engine cold. Right. So then there's some, you know, there's mm. some blood. Mm. So they freak out because neither of them really knows what's going on. Sure. So they hop in the shower. Which, you know, if you have something bleeding, it looks like it's profusely bleeding oh, yeah. in the shower, right? Yeah, it looks so like Carrie. Right? And her brother is one of the biggest dudes in my high school. Oh, no. And mean. <laughs> like, he just beat people up for fun. So he freaks out so bad, he has to call his sister and be like, can you come over and help us at this party? Because they didn't know Ridiculous. what was going on. And then she, the sister was like, you just kind of... Right. Yeah. Slow down. Slow down. Everybody Revisit. take a breath. That does have to be horrible. Get out of the though. shower. If you don't know, this is not at all what you expect to happen. No, no. You look like, oh my God, it looks like a massacre happened. <laughs> uh, this just happened yesterday. As far as you can't believe someone or a certain someone didn't know blank, a flat earther uh, confronted a NASA worker with, quote, proof that the world is flat. Oh, God. Nice. That's right. In the past couple of years, YouTube channels have been filling up with uh, the idea of the flat earth theory, and they've become more. Common, and believe it or not, there is a group out there known as the Flat Earthers. This oh, is, yeah. This is true. I, I know there's a group of them. Two weeks ago, uh, an American basketball star came out and admitted that he thought the Earth was flat. Other players then started to join in. Uh, Kyrie Irving said that in a podcast, this is not even a conspiracy. Uh, the Earth is flat, I'm telling you. It's right in front of our faces. They lie to us. This week, a prominent online Flat Earther named Nathan Thompson, founder of the official Flat Earth and Globe Discussion, finally confronted a NASA employee, who I'm sure had been waiting a long time for that. Yeah, that's just what he wants. Hey, I've been working hard all day. Let's mm -hmm. talk to an idiot. Yeah, he said uh, on his YouTube channel. Okay, stop it right there. Hilarious. Work hard all day, NASA idiot. <laughs> what the, what's wrong with these fools, man? Okay, here we go. I'm here with a real NASA employee, a legit NASA Not employee. Not one of them fake ones. He then immediately busts out proof that the Earth is flat, an ancient, uh, an incident where an Italian uh, astronaut's helmet, I guess, filled with water in a spacewalk. Yeah, 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 it was a couple of years ago. And Thompson said, and I asked him, I said, uh, astronauts have almost died in space. Uh, they get water in their suit, and they almost drowned. And he said it was because of saliva. Uh, this guy right here, hang on, I'm going to wait for him to get to the front of the line, and then I'm going to ask him some more questions. The incident is then uh, trumpeted by flat earthers as proof that NASA missions aren't in space at all, but in fact, it was simply a water filter failure in the suit. And they even entertain. Yes. The, I think that's when you just pat a guy on the head. And so go. here, okay, well, just, yeah. Okay. All right. Like, th at some point, when it's a grown adult, like, if you're not a kid anymore, I no longer feel compelled just to explain the things. You know what I mean? Like, kids, I get it. You need to know. I don't want you to grow up to be as dumb as this guy who's talking yeah. about the, the so, Italian astronaut. But, like, look, if I'm the NASA guy, just go, you know, you got us. Now, sadly, uh, they gave an in-depth explanation to this guy. Why? Why but he does not, but that, but that does not, it, it didn't satisfy him. It, you can't give an in-depth explanation to someone who is mm -hmm. a moron. Now, you can talk a long time, but in-depth is an impossibility. They don't have the comprehension to get some basic stuff.
I mean, you can't do it, man. I can't have an in-depth conversation with my kid about biology because 95% of what I tell them, they're not going to get. So They're not smart enough yet. They, uh, Don't waste your breath on so this So they guy. tell the guy all the things that he's, he's asking about, and he still doesn't believe him. So then the, it goes, it continues. He says, uh, look, he was all nice, the NASA guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was all nice, but I didn't believe him. He gave me NASA, cartoon, uh, friggin' emblems, and now he won't talk to me at all. You're not the boss of me, bro. Okay, I'll leave because you asked me to. That's fine. But NASA's a fraud, bro. They lie about everything. So basically, he claims now that NASA employees have stopped talking to him, that that is proof that there is, in fact, a cover-up because they're like, we've had enough of you. We don't want to try to explain this anymore. Now that they won't talk to him again, he basically said that is the reason for this great conspiracy You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to take him uh, uh, downtown, and there's a particular street in our downtown where all of the crazy people are, okay? On this particular act, guaranteed. So there is a notorious pigeon lady. And for whatever reason, she is very, very, very angry at the pigeons. And every day, man, mm-hmm. she makes it her business to try to catch these sons of bitches and smash them. And I think the pigeons even know. They give her a wide berth. They fly away. She never, but she's always saying, but like, now I want you to go talk to her, okay? And listen to what her theories of life are and why she's there and why she feels the way about the pigeons. My money says that after she gives you that explanation, you won't want to talk to her. Yeah. It's the same thing. You realize you're talking to a lunatic. She's going, I, all right, dude. Well, look. Dude, yeah, I mean, know. how many times is NASA supposed to explain it to him? Like, we've explained it. Here. And the explanation never changes because the explanation is what the explanation is. And you can keep asking different questions. And it's like, but the explanation is what mm-hmm. it is. If you cannot wrap your head around that, that is okay. But, but leave it alone. The answer sure. doesn't change because the answer doesn't change. We- Stupid people are just often stupid. And I was trying to explain I this. I think stupid other, people are always stupid. I, I was just trying to explain this the other day. And it was back to the point we were talking about Jessica Simpson being on the uh, Ellen show. Yeah. All right. And she just said some really dumb stuff. But she's just really dumb. And she's just. But here's the thing about so Jessica. So it's okay. Here's the thing about Jessica Simpson. It would not surprise me if she got like an A in calculus or something. And it took advanced placement calculus. So I wanted to show you what they break into. They switch. They sandwich in at flat truth this is how they'll do it and there's probably there's operatives at each radio station but again they're pushing the i'm dumb american i'm dumb i'm misinformed meme that we hear a lot of the globe people still believing pushing so i know that could get <laughs> it's ridiculous actually hearing that um as we hear it uh, all the time so the funny part about knowing the earth is flat is that when you hear people talk like this, you know they're just covering up or something. It's almost obvious that they're part of the problem. They want to call people lunatics and crazy. The one guy explaining the flat earther's position obviously sounds like he's leaving out some information, which I want to look into what this story was. I think I had heard some. Uh, and then brings up Kyrie Irving. You know, of course, that's the basketball fan. This is the, the basketball guy who, you know, everyone knows about that story. But, again, this is how they would discredit it. Oh, it's, it's a dumb NBA player. That's what they're, you know, more or less they're implying that, right? Okay, they didn't laugh, but we know what they're going at. So, again, you know, it's really important that they are, you know, people are hearing this, and that's what's crazy. They have a pretty big, um, you know, listenership of brain dead, whatever, who want to hear that, and then have it smashed in between talking about how dumb people are and how dumb Jessica Simpson is. And these guys look like they know it all, don't they? I mean, they look like they've got it all covered, everything except the fact the frickin' earth is fucking flat, you idiots, and look into it. Uh, the end result is this criticism for these brain dead fools. They haven't looked at it for one second. You know, and I have to sit and people have to sit and listen to that crap and think, oh, yeah, there it is. That's that dumb topic again. Well, you know, we all know it's taken over. It's going to surpass their radio show. We have more listeners than they do. I just found it kind of funny. This is the typical mainstream media type thing is why they're failing. You know, these guys aren't qualified making 40 grand or however. I don't even care how much they make, but they don't make enough to be qualified to speak about a subject, yet they want to comment on everything. Uh, they they don't talk about knowing the distance to the supposed moon the, in the heliocentric model of 93 million miles an hour, or 93 million miles, I should say, and the moon, uh, you know, being 238,000 miles away. They uh, have no clue. So it was just really important for me to point this out because, again, I live here in the Seattle area, and I'll be able to go ahead and search them out, and they can be flipped. I always have a positive, you know, thing. Hey, you know, before we believed, we talked like this too. But it's just important to kind of pay attention to what these guys are saying and people are saying and correct them. So when uh, if I was thinking maybe a nice little raid, find a ways to reach out to these guys, show them some proofs, the 17 million YouTube videos we've got. Um, 
that's really all I got. Just felt like it was important to show this um, to everybody. So until next time.